right, so, uh, crystals have run amok. Is there, like, a shortcut out of here? I don't think there is. Working hard. I guess you could say that. Maybe I can just use the teleport crystal. Oh, thank God. All right. All right, everyone. Let's make for Florum. Right. We have to get to the Temple of Water before the Kaiser can get his hands on the crystal. But how? Master's leaky old dinghy is taking us about as far as it can go. We'll have to cross open seas to reach Florum. Maybe we can ask about a more reliable vessel in Unohana. Great idea, sir. It sits right on the ocean. Surely they'd have ships to charter. Surely. Oh, I was looking forward to feeling the waves on my face again. Yeah, you're the only one. You guys are no fun. I guess for someone who lives on the moon, ocean waves are still pretty novel. Oh, it's these two. My... Is your hand bothering you, your majesty? It is nothing. I have left that far in the past. The past, the future, and all that comes between. I deny it all. I do want to say, I liked the animation on the Emperor's uh, A moment of your time, there. your majesty. just simple and you know it's very you know a doll like ball and socket joint move, uh, movement but I appreciate that they took the time to actually animate it like that because I feel like with the way most of this game looks uh, they wouldn't normally do that so I will give them credit where credit is due Jan has not returned I would request permission to see to his whereabouts all right your Majesty, the Blazing Wolf's not going to be happy about being treated like a pup. Besides, I believe we have more important matters to attend to. Anna is right. Set a course for the Temple of Water. Your Majesty, if you would at least let me... I think I'm going to have to deny that. No offense, Your Majesty. You return. Angelo Oscar Vincenzo Olivier Panettone, patissier non parel, at your service, or something. What oh, say wow. you let me take a crack at cleaning up those meddlesome crumbs? Intriguing. But why you, Angelo? You would seek revenge for Amy? Revenge? <laughs> Hardly. Just because that foul-mouthed tart had a thing for me, why should I give two whisks about her? Wow. Useless to the end, that woman. Couldn't even hold a simple bridge. <laughs> Awfully talkative today, aren't we? If I didn't know better, I'd say the loss of your girlfriend has really put a fly in your batter. <laughs> Very well. Do as you wish. But we will not wait long. Should you fail, do not bother reporting back. Whatever you say, boss. Uh, your Majesty. I'll be going now, then. With me, ladies. Forever and ever, Chef! Your Majesty, surely it would be wiser to send me, your loyal lieutenant, instead of these. Oh, go take a nap, old man. I have everything under control. Or maybe you could join your sweet little Pope for high tea. Don't think I haven't noticed you sneaking sweets into her cell. It'd almost be touching if it didn't make me sick. The gall! I'm with Nikolai on this one. I cannot wait to take out Angelo Panettone. Except I can, because there is a side quest marker on the map. Sitting here in the sun, eating dumplings, for a moment you can almost forget that the world is in danger. Huh? Uh, 
What's the matter, you? You look troubled. Maybe because the world it's is in danger. It's nothing, really. Just that whenever I look away for a moment, I seem to end up with fewer dumplings. It's a real mystery, wouldn't you say, Idia? Hmm? Did you say something? And see, I turn back this way and once again, fewer dumplings. Such an enigma, isn't it, Magnolia? Indeed, an enigma. Did you hear that, my dear Whitson? This has all the makings of a case! Oh right God. you are, Sholmes. Huh? The owner of those dumplings reports that each time he looks away, his dumplings go missing, one after the next. Yes. It looks like we have a serial dumpling napper on our hands, Sholmes. Are the dumplings being abducted for monetary gain, or out of personal spite? Or is there some hidden tragedy behind it? Quite the conundrum. What's with those two? Another plate of dumplings here, please? And some more of that strong brewed tea, too. And the same here, please. They do seem quite the odd couple. Holmes and Whitson. I forgot uh, about Sholmes, these two. Holmes, it's almost time for you to be going. I say so it is. Blast these interviews. So who do you hope will recruit you? The hard-boiled police inspector or the sharp-witted private investigator? To be frank with you, old chum, I have not been able to decide. Um, uh, uh, one of those, uh, Wallaby Mochi, if you please. I believe that's Wallaby Mochi, Sholmes. And I'll have the same. At any rate, how fortunate you are to have the choice. Really, what a family you come from. This inspector from the municipal police is related to you in some way, didn't you say? Yes, good Uncle Heinkel. Now, Inspector Argent Heinkel, to be precise. Heinkel! Idio, what's the matter? And that private investigator, too. Kunoichi Kikyo, the silent sleuth, as her fans describe her. She's from your mother's side of the family, is she not? What? Oh, drink! Drink! Here you are, sir. Stay with us. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping it down? Are you kidding me? You expect me to keep my mouth shut after hearing something like that? Heinkel and Inspector. Cheeky on private eye for reals? Uh, just who are you fellows? Uh, oh, I say, this wallaby mochi is marsupialicious. Solmes, so this is where you've been hiding. I'm afraid I'll have to postpone our interview today. Argent Heinko, holder of the Night Asterisk. Yeah, I'll, again, As erstwhile captain of the Italian Sky Knights, Marsu wallaby he was once mochi, commanding officer. marsupialicious. Okay, I'll give you that one. I'm glad that Sholmes picked up half the pronunciation after calling it Maki. Anyway, here's Heinkel. Did he always have that mustache? I can't remember. A hardened warrior, dedicated to his cause, and trusted by those who serve him. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Inspector Heinkel, uh, pray tell, what is the matter? You look positively a flutter. There's been a homicide in Stockport. In other words, a murder! Isn't that what I just said? Never mind. Do you want to help or not? You can't have anything else planned. Heinkel! What's going on? Idia? You heard us, didn't you? I'm busy with an investigation. Idle questions can wait. I'll be going ahead, Sholmes. I'll see you at the crime scene. Hmm. Something just came flying. A kunai, and with a note tied to it, no less. Quickly, let us examine the evidence. Asked to investigate Starkfoot murder. Must delay meeting Kikyo. Aunt Kikyo! Konoe Kikyo. The silent Kunoichi. Holder of the Ninja Asterisk. Idia encountered her in Heart's Child, 
when Kikyo served as a key member of the Black Blade's covert forces. I remember Too that. shy to express her thoughts to others face to face. This woman of many masks hides great secrets within her silence. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Dear Aunt Kikyo, won't you ever speak to me directly? But never mind that. Come, Whitson, her case calls. Right you are, Sholmes. Uh, hold up. Can someone explain what is going on? Maybe if you weren't too busy stealing dumplings, Idia. Argent Heinkel, Knights Captain of the Eternian Sky Knights, is now a hard-boiled inspector in the Unohana PD. And Kikyo, lethal assassin of the Black Blades, is now famous as the Silent Sleuth? Things certainly have changed. And what about those other two? Oh, Sholmes and Whitson? They said they were members of a sleuthing club. A sleuthing club? A sleuthing club? So they're private investigators too? Not quite. Apparently it was a school club, but they've kept at it since graduating. They're just plain detective. Give me a break. Aren't they both older than me? Oh, but that Sholmes fellow comes from quite the family. His grandfather was a world-famous private detective. His father is a police commissioner, and his mother is a celebrated mystery novelist. What's more, his aunts, uncles, and cousins are all involved in solving crimes one way or another. What a pedigree. So, what should we do, Idia? Huh? Why are you asking me? Well, I mean, as the attorney and representative in the party, I was afraid you'd mention that. They said they were going to Stark for it, didn't they? Come on, guess we are too. Yeah, we are. I'm gonna double check on uh, my equipment loadout though, because I feel like I'm a little lacking in certain regards. Uh... Yeah, that's probably a good idea to have. Uh, Matchlock rifle? Sure. That's a big attack boost. Number go up. Number go up big. Uh, what does you have that... Why does it say you can equip the shield, then? Like, why is it showing an attack boost for him? Well, whatever. Uh... That's... be good. want three of these. That magic defense boost for Magnolia. Too hard to ignore. I'll just make sure I can't counteract that. Um, oh, but I don't have that much money. Isn't that always the way? I know I want one for my mage. That should be plainly obvious. I get one more. Idea can have the other. Oops. Uh, oh, right. I gotta give her the... New rifle, magic, odd boost, uh, crimson spear. I don't know. Okay, okay. This will do. Uh, Starkford is up this way. Once the headquarters of the uh, the 
sword bearers who have probably run away. Yeah, <laughs> for sale by owner. Wow. What do they have to say? Great dream ended here. Uh, I don't know about great, but certainly someone's dreams, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I really care about recounting the whole history of the... Uh, Shield bearers and the sword bearers. Alright, there's gotta be stuff around here somewhere, right? This is uh, another song about uh, Uchelain. That cat seems rather miffed that uh, <laughs> that people have come by. All right, guess we got to do a little bit of dungeoneering. 50%? Okay, we'll keep it light dungeoneering. Oh, they're gonna make me go through all three paths. Hope not. Alright, we've got a demon and a magician. Uh, let's see here. Try putting them to sleep first. Weak to light, imagine that. Weeks of Earth. Okay. Oh, 
this is awkward. Uh... Oh, well, we came through that one okay. Probably cure that blindness. Uh... All right. Phoenix Town, highly important. Blue treasure chest, how dare. First strike, alright. Perfect, got that special saved up on twos. Kind of funny. Just the idea of a healed dart. Hello, that might be useful. Okay. Make sure that the heal goes off immediately. I'll be honest, I do not actually know uh, which way I'm going. As long as it seems to be vaguely in the right direction, that's all that matters. Okay, a couple of demons and a magician. Uh, what can I do? I should probably get some Cat Nancy items. I can manage. Uh, but I think rejuvenation, I set it to cure doom because 
there's not really a way there's no other way to deal with it it is not set to cure doom okay cool um, Might have to pull out all the stops. Um, should pull out all the stops right now, honestly. Doom counter turned to three. Wasn't everyone at one? All right. Well, anyway. Uh, oh, right. I said it because I said it to revive from death, not block cure. Damn. All right. All right, well, now I know. All right, items. Uh, I want two more of these. We'll take the rest. Should be able to get into the actual side quest uh, momentarily. Idia, you're late. I'm sorry, sir. We were just. Wait. Why am I in trouble? Yeah, Heinkel. Why were you expecting Adia at all? <laughs> Miss Idia, forgive me. I did not realize that you were acquainted with my dear Uncle Heinkel and Aunt Kikio. Don't worry about it. Just don't tell me about any more of your relatives. <clears throat> now then, allow me to bring you up to speed. The victim was one Lord Earl Gulliver, famous around these parts for his considerable wealth real well known. He was alone in this room when he was stabbed in the back by an unknown assailant. He appears to have died on the spot. These three here claim to have discovered the body simultaneously. First, we have Lord Gulliver's wife, Madame Golddigger. Wow. Next, the current landowner of Starkfort, Mr. Land Lesser. Okay. And finally, Lord Gulliver's financial advisor, Noah Interest of Eisenbank. Wow, these are some the names. The murderer is within our midst! <gasps> 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 oh. <laughs> 
Soames, get yourself under control, or I'll do it for you. So sorry, Uncle. I've just always wanted to say that. So the three of you discovered Lord Gulliver's body simultaneously. Could you tell us the circumstances? We came to inspect the property. My husband was interested in purchasing it as a vacation home. At first, we toured each floor together. Earl, myself, and these two. Until we reached this top floor, that is. My husband, a military history buff, became so enamored with this room that he showed no sign of leaving. And so we escorted the madam down to the fifth floor to show her a bit more of the fort. <gasps> My word! Did you see him? He's like a child in a candy store. <laughs> and why shouldn't he be happy? Why, to have such a young and beautiful wife at his age. Lord Gulliver is a lucky man indeed. No one's talking about that, Noah. Mm. Now, if you would allow me, madam, it would be my pleasure to show you the fifth floor. No, if you don't mind, I'd like to look around on my own a bit. Uh, of course, as you wish, milady. The Lord's a real character, isn't he? To think of buying a gloomy fort like this as a vacation home. And his wife. <laughs> a young woman wanting to be left alone in this kind of place. She's an odd duck herself. Well, I'll have not a bad word to say about either if they take this place off my hands. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, back so soon, milady. Yes, I've seen more than enough. Is my husband still upstairs? Engrossed in the ambiance of the fort, no doubt. What say we go rouse him from his reverie? And so no one had gone in or out of this room that whole time? If so, that would practically make this a bona fide locked room mystery. Indeed so. Mr. Lesser and I were standing at the base of these stairs the entire time. Precisely. And no one went past us to reach the upper floor. And the murder weapon? This single-edged dagger here. It was found on the floor beside the victim. It matches up to the stab wound as well. I've got it! The murderer must have prepared a weapon of solid ice, which he or she then used to deal a blow to Lord Gulliver's head. Genius, Sholmes. Then the ice would have melted, leaving us with no murder weapon. Wow, Sholmes. The cause of death was clearly the stab wound. I'll thank you not to muddy our investigation with frivolous conjecture, Sholmes. My dear Whitson, have a look at this rope. Brilliant, Sholmes. Surely the murderer used this rope to lock off the room after escaping. That's our rope, you fools! It says YHPD right on it! <gasps> Do you see that there? A dying message! The murderer is Whit. <gasps> Whitson, you couldn't have! Sholmes, you know I would never. <laughs> Just having a laugh at your expense, old chum. God. I hate to say it, but aren't those two just getting in the way? You'd do well to ignore them. His parents begged me to give him a chance. I suspect it was much the same for you, Kunoichi Kikyo P.I. You know, I get that uh, the whole thing with Kikyo is that he doesn't say anything unless she's in disguise. But it is kind of annoying how the auto advance just completely skips over the fact that she says nothing. Barely a few frames of those dot dot dots. Anyway, Michael, what have you got for me? That's all we've learned about Lord Gulliver, sir. Carry on, then. We need to determine the motive, whether it was monetary or some personal grudge. Next! Inspector Heinkel, sir. We searched the walls from top to bottom, but found no evidence of any secret passages. You gave them each a good whack, I trust? A good what? 
I'm asking whether you were thorough enough to give the wolves a good hard knock or not. Uh, no, sir. Then don't say you searched top to bottom. Get some more men and start knocking walls before I knock you one in the head. Leave not a single stone unturned. I want every inch of this fort searched. Yes, sir. Uh, uncle, I must say, my deductions have led me to believe that the murderer must have hidden beneath... Now, oh, we have work to do, Sholmes. Try not to get in the way, will you? How about you, Idia? Have you noticed anything odd? Hmm... I'd say the banker and the landowner both strike me as a bit suspicious. You think so, hmm? Well, what have we found out? Sir, we did a background check on Mr. Lesser, but found nothing particularly noteworthy. He seemed quite pleased with the prospect of having Lord Gulliver take both the land and the building off his hands. The same for the banker, Mr. Noah Entrist. He stood to gain nothing from Lord Gulliver's untimely death. Any ties between the two? None. They say that today was their first time meeting one another. If those two weren't in cahoots, then this really is a locked room case. We've found no evidence to identify a suspect definitively. But if we consider motive alone... The one who would benefit most from Lord Gulliver's death would be his wife, who stands to inherit all his massive wealth. True, but would she really try something so obvious? So you thought so, too. Let's look into her story without any preconceived notions. Listen, men. Every shred of evidence we gather brings us one step closer to catching our perp. A formal investigation is painstaking and laborious. But if we're thorough in the task, we will surely bring the culprit to justice. Yes, sir. What command, what presence. Now that is what true detective work is all about. Sorry, Aunt Kikyo, but I think the force is the place for me to lead an investigative team. Oh. Surely you agree, my dear Whitson? Hmm. All right, well, let's see what Kikyo has to say, so to speak. Hmm. To think that you became a private investigator. Well, I guess it's no more surprising than Heinkel working for the police. Hmm. So tell me, how does the silent sleuth see this case? Hmm. As talkative as ever. That's some trick to pull off an investigation without ever opening your mouth. All we know at present is that the victim was stabbed in the back with no sign of any struggle. We can assume that the murderer was someone close to the late lord, which rules out Mr. Lesser as the two had only just met today. However, that fat banker may be a different story. Mr. Entress is worth looking at, as of course is the young wife. She has the most obvious motive, but we have no actual proof, not to mention how she could gain entry. La vache! That is simply astounding! I've never heard anyone speak so rapidly! It's like she didn't even stop to breathe! I think I... I think they actually uh, made a slight change here. I rem I vaguely remember complaining in Bravely Default that uh, they implied that Kikyo was talking really fast, but uh, she kind of didn't. So it just made her uh, her subtitles hard to read for no reason. But I guess now they they finally uh, turned up the dial speed dial a little bit so okay you did it bravely second good job yeah it's been a while but it never fails to leave an impression Sholmes, she spoke right you are old chum i dare say we have just experienced the silent sleuth's ninja power breathtaking but kikyo do you really think she could kill him in one go with those skinny arms Quite so. Aunt Kikyo, there must be another suspect hiding beneath this very... You! Zip it! You know, Kikyo, the murderer must have been a pretty skilled assassin to pull this off. Someone as skilled as, say, you? What? Wow, idea. Lord Gulliver was stabbed right through to the heart to deal such a blow with a rusted and neglected knife such as this one here would surely take two hands on the full weight of a body behind it. Yet look at this, this 
Silver blade is discolored, and there's purple modeling at the base of the neck. Evidence that the blade was coated with some kind of poison. All the murderer had to do was scratch Gulliver's skin. And here, this cut on the victim's leather belt shows that there was at least one missed strike. A derelict weapon, a waste of poison, a needlessly difficult method of killing. In short, this murder was no experienced assassin, but a rank amateur. Right, not at all your style. I'm sorry for suggesting it. Which leaves us with the wife as the prime suspect after all. Madam Golddigger, I'm afraid we'll need to take you into custody as a material witness. You mean, as a suspect? Oh, how ridiculous! I didn't do it! I can understand why you might say that. Madam, I do not enjoy using force. I suggest you come along quietly. <laughs> what insight, what acumen, to determine so much from a single knife! It pains me to discount my uncle's work, but there is nothing so impressive as the instincts and deductions of a private investigator. Do you not agree, my good Whitson? Hmm, <sighs> indeed. The poor woman. Material witness or no, to be confined to the very room in which one's husband was brutally murdered. At least she should be safe, with the room being locked and all. Keep watch on Madam Golddigger. No one comes up or down these stairs, got it? Sholmes, what do you two intend to do? We thought to examine this floor in further detail. By Jove, I think I've got it! What? Uh, sorry. I just had the sudden urge to say that. <laughs> <sighs> the rest of you come with me. The lower floors need thorough inspection. Huh? What happened to Kikyo? Before we knew it, she had dashed off somewhere. Oh, and she left behind this note. Investigating downstairs. Maybe she has a lead. All right, uh... Jones, I guess we have to talk to you. Oh, Miss Idia. So, I hear your family is something else, Jones. I wouldn't say that. Really? Grandfather, a famous private detective? Father, a famous police commissioner? A best-selling mystery novelist for a mother? Not to mention Heinkel and Kikyo. I'd say that's pretty darn impressive. Perhaps. Unfortunately, I'm far less so. To be honest, it's quite a burden. I had hoped the two of you might understand how I feel. The daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia, and the young heir to the illustrious House Genealogia. <laughs> well, you know yourself best. So, what are you gonna do? Planning to enter the Unihana PD? Or is the life of a PI more for you? They both have their own appeal, of course. Should I join the police, master the art of leading an investigation, and hone my innate leadership skills as I work toward the top? Or should I use the deductive genius I was born with to become a famous P.I., solving cases that have baffled ordinary minds the realm over? Miss Idia, which do you think would be a better use of my considerable talents? Well, when you put it that way... Basically, it comes down to whether you'd rather start your career working for Heinkel or Kikyo, right? I bet whoever you turned down would try and convince you to reconsider. With force. <laughs> Do you really think so? Both my aunt and uncle seem frustrated with my aimless nature. I've come to think that they might even be relieved to not have me follow in their footsteps. Hmm. You may be less of a self-important spoiled brat than I thought. That's some insight after all. I guess it does run in the family. My advice would be to just watch carefully how both Heinkel and Kikyo approach their work. Observation is one of the most fundamental skills for any investigator, to be sure. Don't give up! Okay. Not sure if that was particularly insightful, but okay. Whitson! Oh! You're not with Sholmes? 
We are fast friends and partners, but even we don't spend all our waking hours together. On a case, we stick to our own specialties and try not to interfere with each other's processes. Your specialties? Sholmes tends to rely on instinct and inspiration to make his deductions. I prefer to quietly analyze the details of a crime. <sighs> I suppose we are both the products of our environments. You also come from quite the family, huh? No less impressive than Sholmes, at least. Oh, please, come off that. Sholmes grandfather was a world-famous detective. Mine was a world-famous detective's aide. Sholmes's father became police commissioner, while mine was never promoted beyond lieutenant. His mother is a best-selling mystery novelist. Mine, a best-selling mystery novelist's assistant. Sholmes comes from a line of brilliant deductive geniuses, while I come from a line of glorified sidekicks. There are no Inspector Hankels or Silent Sleuth Kikyos among my relatives. Not that I'd expect the heirs to the houses of Lee and Jenny Olja to understand. Huh. So what are you gonna do once Sholmes figures out his career path? Who knows? I can only do what I can. Quietly. Out of the spotlight. I see. Sorry to interrupt your investigation. He's almost like a different person when he's not together with Sholmes. Do I detect a hint of jealousy? No one wants a murder victim house, says the landowner. Well, I guess this was before the time of uh, True Crime Podcasts, so... Heinkel! What's up? Hmm? Oh, idiot. I'll not be taking any ridiculous questions about why a knight like myself is now working for some backwater municipal police force. Heinkel! Do not worry. I have not betrayed your father's trust, nor have I turned my back on Eternia. My business is mine alone. Further prying will get no more out of me. Murder girl. I would not object to telling you the tale, but now is not the time. I suggest you desist. Inspector! You must see this, sir! Understood. I'm on my way. Heinkel! What more can you have to pester me about? Just, um... Why are you still wearing that? I mean, you don't usually see a crime scene investigator in full plate armor. Ha! Have you ever seen me in anything else? It'll take more than a job change to get me to lay these aside. Not to mention my great shield. Uh, if you say so. All right, Heinkel. Sir! Ah, can you simpletons go one minute without hounding me? What is it this time? It's Madame Golddigger, sir. She's dead. What? What's that you say? Uh, is this good? I heard a noise and came running, but she was already cold. Did she do this herself? A murder-suicide? Hmm. A fine mess this has become. The madam is dead? Oh, say it is not so! Hmm. Madam Golddigger as well? But... but what about the sale? That's hardly... Is it true? Lord Gulliver's wife, dead as well? Whitson! Quick to the scene, I see. Ugh, everyone's already here but you, Sholmes! So, Madame Goldigger is also dead. This is surely a case of murder! And just why do you think that, Sholmes? G uh, call it a sixth sense? A flash of insight, a, uh, a strong hunch, and it tells me now that, uh, that the murderer is hiding beneath that table! Wait, huh? 
Come, Sholmes, even for you, that's a bit... Hmm? What's that? I can't believe that Sholmes has stumbled onto something. I shall something. follow where you go. Did Madame Golddigger write this? She killed herself out of grief over the loss of her beloved husband? Hmm. No. This was surely planted by the murderer to lead us astray. A personal challenge from the true culprit. Hang on. Where's the challenge in there? There must be a hidden message. If we look at the first letter of each sentence... There's only one sentence! I was gonna say. Go! Oh, enough! We start the investigation from the top. Yeah, What a miserable day. All right, party chat, what do we got here? Stalwart shields. Oh, Heinkel is just from Heartschild, I guess. Comparing shield sizes, Magnolia. The gravy stand. All right, what do we got now, Heinkel? Heinkel, how sure are we that this room is really secure? We've been over every inch and found not a single hidden passage. It's a sealed chamber if I ever saw one. Kikio, you stayed here when you were with the Black Blades, didn't you? How well did you all know the fort? When I was stationed here as part of the Black Blades covert forces, I knew every hidden passage in this fort. It appears, however, that there have been renovations since then, which could very well mean... Hmm. All right, listen up. I want you to go over every square inch of this room with a fine-tooth comb. Leave no stone unturned! Yes, sir. Excuse me, Uncle Heinkel. We'd like to have a word with you. What is it this time, Sholmes? I just thought, uh, perhaps we should consult with Mr. Lesser. He is the owner of the fort. Hmm. Not bad. Well, you get the... I'm afraid any such work would have occurred just before I wedge the, the teeth under the stones and then you use them as a lever to, to flip them over. It's fine. But you should have records showing the name of the former owner, yes? The one who carried out said renovations? Yes, I believe I do. I thought as much, just as you should have records of the two of us working here. Isn't that so, Whitson? Uh, that's true enough. I remember it well. We were still students then. It was the best pay we'd ever gotten. W why, yes, it was. You heard the man! Go to Mr. Lesser's office and bring me the names of everyone involved with the renovation work. Yes, sir. The Sholmes and the Whitson have been here before. All right, Sholmes, what do you have to say? Not too shabby, Sholmes. You might have what it takes to pull off an investigation. With careful police work and keen instinct, both. I wonder. In truth, I still can't decide. Am I best suited to the life of an inspector, tirelessly pursuing criminals through steady, thorough investigation? Or am I destined to become a genius detective, using logic and inspiration to track down the most evasive criminal masterminds? Hmm. You gotta pick one, huh? Does he, though? Uh... Let's see. Well, 
This is one of those dilemmas where I really don't care all that much about the outcome. This is not a moral dilemma. I just know that I want that ninja asterisk. That's what I'm here for. Uh, so, the way this normally goes, I pick the, the one he sides with. The police inspector probably should have some good benefits. That's that's true. Private investigator. I mean, I've I've seen enough private investigator stories to know that pay isn't always that great. Uh, let's see. Ugh. But we'll go with the. Uh, Police inspector, see if I this... think you should follow in Heinkel's footsteps. You'd make a great inspector. I hope now I didn't is just not pick the, time the wrong for you choice. To be running though. around on your own as a private eye, with nothing to guide you but your hunches. Right, it Start is. off by working with people who have experience. Learn the ropes of how to investigate, then go from there. That is if you do that, a very I bet you'll make a great inspector plan. someday. Why, yes. When you put it that way, it's elementary. I'll train to become an inspector under my dear Uncle Heinkel's tutelage. <laughs> Kikyo? I was asked by your parents to help you find a job, a sheltered little fool I barely have any ties to, but still I agree to watch over you, even though I would rather do anything else, and this is how you repay me, you ingrate? Kikyo? Oh my god. And you. I knew you had more muscles than brains, but are you truly so foolish as to think that you could suggest that Sholmes become an inspector and it wouldn't end with you battling me, idiot? Uh, this is exactly the outcome that I wanted, but I also just can't believe that Kikyo had absolutely no urge, no desire to babysit Sholmes. And when I tell him, hey, go with Heinkel, she's mad enough to fight me about it. We're getting him out of her hair and she wants to beat me up. But hey, they're kind enough to highlight the difference between the knight and the ninja and why I want to pick the ninja over the knight. Dual wielding is just way more fun in my opinion, than uh, two-handing a single weapon. Yeah, you bet I'm ready for a fight. I don't know why. But sure. Oh, give me a break. The silent sleuth Ninja Konoe Kikyo appears. That's what you want to say, right? So let's get on with it already. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly it. We found the job for him. He got a job. Sort of. It's fine. Alright, uh... Why not? Go with a defense debuff. Uh... Now, this should be a fairly straightforward battle. I recall. Uh, uh, excuse me. Don't take out my swordmaster, thank you. That's the one. This should work. This should do me good. Have anything that could lower. We'll try Sonic Boom. And a 
spray. Thinking, I think I want Holy Knight on Magnolia ASAP. Mostly going okay. Um, I want a magnet. See what Kikio is capable of. Done a fair amount of damage. Transients out there. Alright, um. We've only begun to fight! Transients is a pretty good support ability. Um, is in the negative. All right, cool. So she's all uh, is good as well, honestly. Uh, Actually turned out pretty well. Oh my god, one more attack to do it. Okay. Thank you, Adia. <laughs> Using a rifle to finish off a ninja like that just makes me think of that one scene from uh, from Indiana Jones.
Hey, there we go, ninja. Class that specializes in daggers and also can dual wield at no penalty. Got some pretty good ninjutsu. Love me that, uh, Utsusemi. Just a free dodge and then combine it with the transient support <laughs> ability. So I lost to you. Free counter attack. I just thought you were this strong. Uh, who are you? The game is up, Whitson. There's no place for you to run. What? You hoped that I wouldn't follow my Uncle Heinkel in his line of work. You didn't want a formal investigation to uncover the truth. That you were here at this very fort two years ago. What twist? That you knew of a certain feature of this fort, and that you... <laughs> Let us end this charade. Whoa! When all you had was a laughable dream of becoming a private investigator, I could turn a blind eye. But when you finally gave up your ridiculous posturing and did some real detective work, you became quite the nuisance. What have you done with Kikyo? I don't have to answer to you. If you care so much, find her yourself. Get back here! Well, that's a certainly... Passage. So this is how the perpetrator... That explains why Kikyo would want to fight over Sholes. And so they found the real Kikyo bound up in another of the fort's hidden corridors? That's right. I'm just relieved she wasn't hurt. Sholmes says she was lured out by a false promise of information, then taken captive. Hmm. But in the end, we still don't know the truth of what happened? Well, thanks to Inspector Heinkel's investigation, several facts have come to light. Lord Gulliver's murder was the sole work of Madame Goldiga, who was after his fortune from the beginning. Oh. She heard about the hidden corridor from Whitson. Apparently those two have a history together. Oh. She just happened to hear about it? Whitson mentioned the corridors when Lady Goldiga told him that her husband planned to purchase Starkfort. Perhaps he also mentioned how ideally suited it was for staging the perfect murder. A murder she then decided to carry out. Whatever he knew or didn't know, Whitson hurried to the crime scene under the pretense of investigating with Sholmes. Then Madame Goldiga misread his intentions, thinking he was there to help her. She tried over and over to get him on her side. In the end, she even tried threatening him. Though we'll never be sure with what. But what about the note we found? I shall follow where you go. There were quite a few theories flying around about that note, weren't there? The madam might have written it, or... The truth seems to be that Lord Gulliver wrote that note himself. He did? I guess coming to Starkford and getting caught up in its history sparked the creative urge in him. That note was from a novel he was working on. They found the continuation of it with the rest of his belongings. Oh, so it was just a red herring. Forgive me. It's my fault for jumping to conclusions like I did. Apologizing for a bad hunch? Who are you and what did you do with the real Sholmes? I'll take that as a compliment. Uncle Heinkel, I mean, Inspector Heinkel, has been teaching me what it means to truly be a part of a real investigative team. Jones, we have a case! I yes, sir? Go cordon off the scene and begin collecting evidence. I'll get there as soon as I can. Yes, sir! Crack that whip, Heinkel. Looks like you have some high hopes for him. Well, as it turns out, his insight has proved quite invaluable to our investigations. The day might even come when he's the one ordering me around. You don't seem too upset about that. If you'll excuse me, I'm due with the scene. I can't let that sniveling little upstart think he's in charge quite yet. Be well, Idia. It seems you chose well, Idia. Everything's working out wonderfully. Yep. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And I'm relieved that I gave Sholmes good advice for his future, too. Excuse me. 
Can I get a soybean mochi and another cup of strong tea? Make that two. One for me, too. Let's make it five sets. Coming right up! Uh, but there's only four of... Uh... Oh. Phantom Thief Whitson. All right, auto advance. One a little too fast, but whatever, it's fine. Are we gonna find out that Whitson's first name was Moriarty or something? Oh no, excuse me, since it's Sholmes, maybe his first name is Moriarty. Ugh, I don't like the way that sounds. Anyway, back to the main plot. Hey, uh, Hot Springs Attendant, you got any charter ships around here? Why, hello! It's so nice to oh, see you again. excuse me, I forgot her name was Sakura. Will you That's be staying my bad. the night, or are you just here for a quick bath? We have rose baths today. Every bath is filled with beautiful petals and exfoliating thorns. Uh, that sounds great, Sakura. But actually, we could really use your help. Not sure I'm into the exfoliating thorns. A ship, you say? I fear I'm just a humble stewardess. You should speak with Lord Arima. Lord Arima? Yes, the Lord of Yunohana. If you visit the castle, he should be happy to grant you an audience. That makes sense. Thanks. Well, let's go see if this Lord has a ship for us. All right, sounds fair. Uh, do I need any healing? I should probably heal on. Just this easy, right? Just this easy? Yep, okay. I got a little extra cash. Maybe I should uh, do a little armor upgrading. What the hell is the smiley badge? Con or constant aggro. I picked up a... Uh... Yeah, Gale hairpin. That's probably good. Although, amulet's probably the best. Uh... Yeah. Should be fine. Okay. You know Hana Castle. It's just right up the way. <laughs> There's one thing I know about kings, is that uh, they always, always, always love to entertain uh, foreign visitors, just with no notice whatsoever. Welcome, travelers. I am Kusatsu Arima IV, Lord of the Baths. Your arrival in our nation has made quite the splash. I hear it, you fight the Empire. If you need anything at all, just say the word. I will happily pool my resources for you. Thank you, your lordship. As a matter of fact... A ship, you say? Why, that's as simple as soap and water. My favorite lacquered gondola is at the docks, adorned ornately with the Arima family crest. Please, think of it as your own. Another rowboat. Uh, actually, we were looking for something a bit more ocean-worthy. And bigger. 
Hmm, that's one idea down the drain. And yet, I fear it is my only vessel. If only there were some way to... But no, that's impossible. What's impossible? Alas, an intractable clog. If you wish to venture into the open seas, I suggest you wait for a merchant vessel to call it port. But how long is that gonna take? <sighs> what are we gonna do? Now, now, my friends, no need to get so lathered up. Come, All let these us nibble on something sweet, and we shall ponder this bubblesome issue together. Did you say something sweet? I did. It just so happens a traveling confectioner was recently drawn to our baths. He presented me with an offering of desserts, but I fear they will be too sweet for my sophisticated palate. Wow. Perhaps really you will find them more there. to your liking. Hey, I bet these are from that traveling pastry chef we met back in Heart's Child. What luck! Maybe he has a boat for us, too. It's worth asking. Hmm. They're all different. Let's each pick one, and then we can go look for him. I don't care much for sweets, either. So I'll just have whatever's left over. Then it's just the three of us. First come, first served! Oh, they all look so yummy! Uh, I think I'll have... Un petit minute! What do you think you're doing? That's the one I wanted! Oh boy. Settle down, you two. There's no use fighting over cake. Right, let's unclench those fists now. No, no, you, you don't need to crack your knuckles. I know, why don't we let you decide who gets first dibs? Good idea! I'm sure you will choose wisely. Won't you, you? Murder girl. Why do I feel like I'm being sandbagged? You! I'm trusting you won't be swayed by any saucy wiles. Got it? Uh, uh, right. Whatever you say. In that case... Alright, so this is actually an important thing. And it is for this reason I'm going to choose Tiz. Uh, this reason that I'm not going to uh, explain until it becomes uh, properly relevant. Gosh, really? I can go first? Okay, then. I'll take the Mixed Nut Tart Nirvana. It looks really filling. Well, here goes nothing. Whoa! This is... Hmm. Totally amazing! Seriously, it's to die for! It's that good? Oh yeah, believe you me, I can't quite describe it, but it's like eating an incredibly delicious forest! Eternity almonds, eisen nuts, harina stachios, twilight walnuts, it's chock full of them! The greatest and tastiest nuts in all of Luxendark! All in one incredible dessert! They're covered in this amazing buttery nougat! The whole thing is sweet and savory and nutty all at the same time! It's like my tongue's being tickled by treants! Uh, um, sir? What's got into Tiz? Man, oh man! That must be one serious tart to turn on old Tiz like that! Well, Guess it's my turn! Wait, something's not right. Tiz? Are you okay, sir? Tiz? No, something's definitely not right. I've seen this look before. Of course, the people in Heartschild! There must have been something in that tart! Bathzooks! Could it have been poisoned? I don't know, but we shouldn't eat anymore. Let's throw it out. <laughs> That's no way to treat my delectable delicacies. 
I remember you. You're the pastry chef from Heartsfest. What did you put in that tart? No artificial ingredients, if that's what you're implying. Just pure, unadulterated genius. My creations don't just taste magical, you see. They have certain effects on the eater. These cakes include an extra dash of inspiration I added just for you. Taste and behold the result, my dear diners. A one-way ticket to heaven. Huh? W what's happening? S sir? I I'm disappearing. Oh. <laughs> now you see me. What? Now what you did don't. What do to him? Didn't we just go over this? My cakes are so divine, anyone who tastes one is whisked straight off to heaven. Of course, in heaven you have no body, and you can't move or talk. I like to call it death by delicious. <laughs> hmm. You villain! Is this what you did to all those poor people in Heart's Child too? That's exactly That's what you right. did. That's right. And they savored every moment. Just who the heck are you anyway? Wait, I bet he's working for... Angelo Ovio Panettone, patissier non parel. Charmed, I'm sure. Personal confectioner to the Kaiser, and proud owner of the patissier asterisk. My boss was sick of you meddling in his affairs, so... Here I am. Ladies! Yes, Chef! Right on cue. Now let's hear it. My sweets are... To die for! My face is... To die for! And these losers can... Go to heaven! It's time for dessert! Lick their plates clean! I am Angelo Panettone, holder of the Patissier Asterisk. By whisk and by spatula, I create a profusion of pastries, a symphony of sweets. The women of the world swoon at the taste of my delicacies and the sight of my face. Those can only use magic. That's why I had Tiz eat the cake. Uh, because he will not be able to do any physical attacks, and, uh, well, whoever eats the cake can't do any physical attacks. You is not an option for it, and, uh, the ladies here are my physical attackers, so I kind of need them to, uh, do their whole thing. Um, what can I do? Try a book burning. I don't think it'll be. No, I'm, I take it back. I'm not going to do that. Cat Mancy is not going to do me any good here. Uh, I'm going to punch Angelo. Uh, can't do physical attacks. Can't even use items. Uh, but I bet... I bet the Katana Vanguard... ...is weak to lightning. Yeah. What the Patissier does is, uh, inflicts debuffs of, uh, all sorts. We're going to be seeing kind of a lot of those. Um, uh, no, I want... Three Thunderbolts.
Wow, okay. They're not really messing around. That is... Uh, good to know. Uh, <laughs> you're the ones who took out Amy? Uh, wait, you're the darling she was going on about? Uh, don't remind me. Yes, she was fond of that word. But I assure you, I was not her darling. I show her a little bit of kindness, and the woman is hopelessly enamored with me. <sighs> not the first time that's happened, of course. But over and over, sweetie this, darling that. I can't stand the clingy types. You're a real jerk, you know that? Can't you see that she loved you? <laughs> that's rich, coming from the kid who beat her in battle. You think I wanted to come all the way out here to play babysitter? Yet here I am, all because she couldn't take care of business. That woman continues to give me nothing but grief. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy beating him up. Him with the sponge kick. Oh, weird. didn't you? Why else would you come looking for revenge? Revenge? Is that what you think this is about? That girl was nothing more than a tool to me. Like my spatula. If my spatula broke, you better be annoyed. I feel sorry for you. I really do. You had someone who loved you that much. And you're calling her a spatula. You're really starting to get on my nerves. What do you know about me? What happened between Amy and I is our business. So shut up and die already! Oh, I think they got a point. Why would you be here for... Uh... For revenge? Uh, I don't like the sound of that decapitate move. I'd like to deal with that post haste. Second dot, I should not. Do uh, not push myself. Do it like this. Farm. No. That's bad. That's extremely bad. Um. All right. Fortunately, I see how it is. Um. Try to get Magnolia's health back up. There we go. That's better. One more round of defense.
Yeah, I'll tell you though. Uh, Magnolia, please. Oh my god. This is the worst. Uh. But the Patissier is, honestly, it's one of my favorite jobs in this game. Legitimately. Um, I want to build up some DP though, so I can maybe deal with this. Ah, crap. Shouldn't have let the reinforcements come. All right, do I have anything that will let me attack everyone? Um, I don't. Yeah, a pastry chef. Really good. I. Honestly, uh, I want to take out the medic first. Uh, attack all, that's a good idea. Anytime I can uh, there we go. I do like the way that's going. Oh, how dare. Yeah, we'll keep the special chain going. Okay, I'll just stab you to death, I guess. Alright, um... Finished him. Good. I'm glad. Ah, I picked up a lot of uh, ingredients. Yes, the patissier. Uh, 
They use these ingredients to uh, to inflict debuffs, which are fantastic. Not only can you uh, inflict status effects, uh, you can also do things like a fire weakness, which that flaming fondant would do. Uh, specializes in daggers, although probably won't be doing too much physical attacking. They're great as a support role. All my work, my genius ruined. My pride, my passion. That I suffer the same fate as that woman is just icing on the bitter cake of defeat. What are you waiting for? Finish me and end this cruel farce. But you don't want to dirty your spotless hands to think I lost to the likes of you. How about you bring my friend back? Then you leave me no choice but to do the deed myself. Heaven, here I come. What? No! Put down the cake! <laughs> oh. This... this ring... It's that cheap trinket I gave Amy. There's a note tied to it? I actually forgot about this, but when we beat Amy, she fired off one last shot uh, straight into the sky. Well, <laughs> here it is. Finally falling back down to Earth. To my sweet darling, if you're reading this, I guess it means I'm pushing up daisies. I'm sorry for letting you down. I was never good enough for you. But I loved you more than anyone in the whole wide world. Growing up in the woods, all I ever ate was roots and bark and wild animals and stuff. I didn't even know what cake was until we met. But that first bite I took, holy cow. I couldn't believe anything so sweet could exist in this world. So I decided I'd be sticking with you, whether you liked it or not. Again, royal. If I hadn't have met you, I probably never would have seen the outside of those woods. You made my world a bigger place, darling. Thank you. Your sweet sugar cake, Amy. P.S. You want to know what made me happiest? When I slept in on Sundays and you made me a special pancakes. I'd give anything just to taste them again. So listen, if you ever loved me, even just for a second, do me one last favor. Stop fighting. Open the pancake shop instead. Then everyone in the world can be as happy as I was. Sweet darling, a thousand times I asked her. Even now. In my lowest moment of failure, she won't knock it off. Aggravating to the end, that woman. Oh, where are you going? Uh, next time we meet, you'll get your just desserts. I'll serve you the best pancakes you've ever had. I can't believe, despite Phew, being a total jerk. He was one tough cookie. Wait, he did care are about they forgetting Amy. something? All of us! We never asked him to bring Tiz back from heaven! Oh no, now what do we do? This isn't good. And we don't even know which way he went. You mean Tiz is stuck like this? Oh, now he's panicking. I can't see him, but I can feel it. Me too. We have to do something. Well done, my noble friends. You washed the dirty scoundrel right out of our hair. It was a schwitz watching from my comfortable hiding spot, but I never saw a truer display of heroism. If not for your quick action, our peaceful nation would truly be in hot water. As a token of my eternal gratitude, I would bestow upon you a lifetime Unohana bathport. A bathport? Yes, like a passport, but with a B and a lisp. With it, you, you are can't free just to say the that? use of our baths whenever you wish. 
That's very generous of you, your lordship, but we don't have much time for hanging out in hot springs. Hmm. W wait a minute. You can't just spell out the joke of like course, that. Of course, the hot springs. The baths here are supposed to cure all ills. Maybe it'll work on Tis too. Are hot springs really that powerful? It's worth a try. I'll go get a bucket of water. Here it is. Oh, that's hot. This must be around here somewhere. Just toss it wherever. Okay, here it goes. Ow! Uh, uh, talk about hot! It works! It's a little scary how powerful that stuff is. But it's good to have you back. You're telling me. Boy, I thought I was going to be stuck like that forever. There's nothing a good bath can't solve. Indeed, cleanliness is next to godliness. Now that that mess is all cleaned up, I insist you stay the night and enjoy our hospitality. <sighs> you know, a bath would be good right now. What do you say, everyone? First, there's the hidden item around here that I gotta pick up. Don't mind me, your lordship. Uh, please? How are you gonna hide an item in here? There's, like, nowhere to check. I guess these sides. Spiderweb. Great find. Let's go take that bath that he was talking about. Use our bath port. My god. Ooh. Ah, that's the ticket. Ah, tell me about it. Take a look at this, sir. I've been working out. 20 push-ups and 20 sit-ups every night. What do you think? Am I looking more manly? <laughs> you sure are. My routine is 50 each, morning and night, you know. <gasps> wow, sir. Excuse me, gentlemen. I heard all about your bravery from Lord Arima's valet. He tells me you saved our town. Oh, no. We just did what we had to do. That's not what I heard. I think you're being far too modest. <laughs> well, it was a tough fight. In any case, your dinner is ready. Please, enjoy it while it's still hot. Oh, thank you. We'll just dry off and be room. Coming! <gasps> Idia! Idia, you're close! Oh, boy. Ooh, now that was delicious. No kidding. What a feast. Mmm, I'm completely stuffed. I'm so glad you liked it. It's always nice for a cook to know her efforts weren't in vain. Wait, you made all this? Oh, yes. As the sole employee of this bathhouse, I'm responsible for everything. Cleaning the baths, managing the front desk, preparing the meals, whatever needs to be done. Get out. That's amazing! That's exploitation. The Omega Weapon of Innkeepers! Why, thank you. I think. It's nothing, really. Will you be retiring for the night soon? Yeah, I'm pretty sleepy. Lord Arima sent over a tremendous amount of yuzu, so I prepared yuzu baths for this evening. Perhaps you'd like to enter once more before turning in. Yuzu baths? What's that? Yuzu. It's a citrus fruit. You bathe with whole fruits floating in the water. It will warm you to the bones, and it's wonderful for your skin. That sounds lovely. Well, I'd hate to miss the chance, so I think I'll try it out. I would too, but I'm really beat. 
I think I'll hit the hay. Me too. Oh, I might have overdone it. I gotta lie down and digest. All right, see you later then. I can't believe Adia just admitted to overeating. Ah, ah. Ooh, this is the life. The scent of Yuzu is so refreshing. I could do this every night. Hmm. Hey, Magnolia? Are you there? Yes? What is it? I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. You know, about the flower? Oh, no, they're going back to this. It's customs. I really have no idea. Don't worry about it. It was my fault for leaping to conclusions. I mean, of course you wouldn't propose to me on our very first meeting. Although, I really was happy. I even considered saying yes. Right then and there. W really But why? <laughs> it's a secret. But it wasn't quite love at first sight, if that's what you're thinking. A secret? But you'll tell me someday, right? <laughs> Peut-être. I'll think about it. Mm. <sighs> Too bad we can't stay like this. Yeah. The Skyhold is still out there. That's our main worry. And we still need to find an ocean-worthy ship. I wish we could do something for the people of Hartschild, too. We could bring the spring water to them, but it seems it's not as effective once it cools off. And as long as they're in that Gonda Heaven ghost state, they are coming here. We can't take the hot springs to them, and we can't bring them to the hot springs. Hmm. There must be a way. You seem troubled, my young friends. I know that voice! You're the man with the purple pen! <laughs> That's a curious name you've given me. It's our stalker Though friend. I suppose it's better than stalker or ghost. I've got another name for you if you want. Peeping Tom. Uh, I, I assure you, I'd never dream of doing such a thing. My intentions are nothing if not noble. My only desire is to help you. Opportunities are like bean sprouts. Use them while you can, or they'll be spoiled before you know it. Well, that sounds great, but what are you talking about? <laughs> A good question. Your ship is right before your eyes. Now you need only use it. What? I don't see any ship. Lord Arima's intractable clog. I've taken the liberty of tracting it. Anchors away. Whoa! What the? You? Magnolia? What the heck's going on? It wasn't us. Honest. What's with all the racket? I was having such a good sleep. We were in the bath when the man with the purple pen showed up. The man with the purple pen? Yes, I heard him too. You mean he's here? In the bathhouse? It's hidden as ever. His voice was coming from upstairs. Let's check it out. So Tyrion, you asked if this place is supposed to be rarely used? Uh, kind of the opposite. Turns out it's supposed to be constantly used. This place is legitimately our ship for the game. Huh? What's a ship's wheel doing here? Don't tell me. This is where it sounded like the man with the purple pen was. Well, he's not here now. Where's he always off to so suddenly? Her bathing! She moves! Oh, how many years it has been! Why, look at this room. I thought it was only for storing the linens. Uh, your Lordship, Sakura. 
To think there was a soul who could write her plumbing. Truly, my tub runneth over. Your Lordship, I beg of you, please lend us this vessel. We want to take its healing waters to Heart's Child. If the water's still hot, we'll be able to cure the townspeople. Not content to save our nation alone, you intend to scrub Heart's Child free of its troubles as well? It would ill behoove me to throw a wet towel on your ambition. This vessel was the very rubber duck of you, Nohana. But from this day forth, she belongs to you. After you have saved Heart's Child, journey with her wherever you need to pull the plug on the Kaiser. Thank you very bad. We shall not let you down. You please leave the bath puns to All right. the Lord. Time to bring the hot springs to Heart's Child. And also, Lord, please stop boat? the bath puns. Does anyone know how to pilot it? Mm, more or less. Oh, someone's been studying. <laughs> <sighs> really? Oh well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, I can do this. Well, it's Way easy. Go, you just you. move the control stick. Helm, set a course for Heart's Child. Aye, aye, Captain. Bringing her about full steam ahead. As finally I can navigate the open seas. And I can uh, enter the bathhouse whenever I want. It also says I can switch to the old rowboat, but, like, why would I ever? Why would I ever? Now let's uh, get Heart's Child all cured up. Oh, also we've got uh, pirate zombies? Okay. Uh, give me some light bulbs. Double damage. Got your double damage right here, pal. Oh, yeah, let's do an acid rain. Just for funsies. one down, I guess. Hey, I guess I did get a couple of jobs in this session, but I kind of want to save that for later. Let's Why? just make sure Heart's Child so is fine. So this is the coast of Heart's Child. That's right. Hey, wait a minute. You're still on board. Why wouldn't of she course. be? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? It's just that, uh, we kind of get into a lot of dangerous situations. Then all the more reason. I'll stay right here. On a perilous journey such as yours, you're bound to have aches and pains from time to time. When that happens, I'll be here to see you're as comfortable as possible. <gasps> Does that mean you'll be cooking for us too? But of course, hot meals thrice daily. Now that's what I'm talking about! This is like having the uh, proprietress on the grand ship in the first game. Only this time, she has a name. Oh. 
these clowns out of my face. Oh, they're so weak, I probably should have just done that in the first turn. Oh well, it's fine. Nope, there's no one inside either. Everybody went to heaven. Huh? What's that sound? It's coming from outside the city, and it's getting closer. This is probably fine. Sergeant Sapp, sir! We're almost at Hartstown, sir! Oh, this is definitely fine. No thanks to this rats of fracking machine! We should have been here days ago! Don't be too hard on him, Sergeant Sapp, sir! He did his best to only overheat at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, sir. We could have been the ones to take the city, too! Oh, well, might as well mop up, tear down the walls and level the place, and get a move on, or His Majesty will leave us behind! Huh? Uh, Sergeant Sapp, sir, I think someone's coming this way, sir. No matter. If they get in the way, just, uh, level them, too! What is that? That's the Imperial Insignia on it. That's clunky, primitive technology. This should be fun. It's so cool! I know, right? It's so rustic and rugged looking. You two, quit gawking and get ready to fight. It's coming for us. Oh, good. Their theme is playing for this battle. That's exactly what I want. Um, all right, let's perforate this thing. Oh, they're even separate targets, too. Okay. All right, Sergeant Sap and Private Piddler. They're not the bigs and wedge of the series. They're just the bigs and wedge of the game. They were not at all present in uh, Bravely Default. Alright, uh, I don't know what happened there. Kind of a lot is happening all at once. That's... That's my move. Alright, uh... Yeah, we'll beat that up. Uh, it's got to be weak to lightning, right? Like, I shouldn't have to investigate that to prove that, right? The Blizz King, that's what I said. Alright, sorry, Sergeant Sap, but you're being kind of a pain right now. Hitler, are you weak to lightning? Please? Uh, this is looking pretty bad. Might be time to, uh, to do a Bravely second. Bravely second! Uh, let's do two. 
give everyone that free I'll instant put a stop heal. To time. All right, we'll just have to hope that this is good. Uh, it said some. They said something about it overheating. Is it weak to fire? That'd be nice. There's some ice at it too. Hope for the best. All right, so not fire. Hard to is weak to ice. Probably the whole machine, right? Like if it's anything? fast um yeah please hold on all right private piddler has been taken down I wish I could see how close I was to uh, Tiz's special unlock. Just have to hope you can survive. Thank God. Cheer up, guys. I've got this is this. all I need. Nope. I want to use all my attacks. I would take out Sergeant Sap too. I've got some water-based attacks that were pretty handy. Back in action, huh? Oh, 
just hope for the best, I guess. Oh, that's a good deal. Okay. Now I just have to hope that you doesn't get targeted at all. But why would he? He's par uh, they're all paralyzed. So I have to assume that uh, hammering this thing with ice magic, uh, ice elements, is why it couldn't do anything. Oh, Fiddler is the only one who can still move. Take this private piddler. A rude. Oh no, they're all back now. Great. Uh, just... rejuvenation should come in handy. We've only begun to fight. works. I'll take it. Preposterous! The pride of our army! Our next generation super weapon! Humbled by four mere gutter snipes! Sergeant Sab, sir! A message from HQ! It went... Don't worry, I had to code it. Thank you, Private Piddler. Diane and T Sales Fro Next Ob Jet Ive at Dawn. Or something like that, sir. Wrecked, earn, post faced, or be ab and dunned. Well, I don't want to be ab or dunned, sir. Furthermore, do not let unit fallen to any my F ands. The end. Ands what? Talk about a cliffhanger, sir. Oh, wait, there's also something about a coward meridial and a firing squid. Ooh, then we got no choice. Pull the self-destruct lever! But, sir! Just do it! We can't let the weapon fall into enemy hands! I... I can't do it, sir. The lever's broke clean off, sir. Why, I'll break your... Mm, fine, fine. We'll drive the blasted thing back. About face! Wouldn't it be faster if we walked? And what about my face, sir? Just shut up! Look at that thing clanking and clunking away. What a rust bucket. 
What a duo. It's so cool. I wish I had one. Anyway, now that that's over, what do we do about Heart's Child? We fix it. We'll need to douse every inch of the city, but how can we do that without the water getting cold? I know! We could spray the whole town at once with a great big shower! Yeah, good idea. Let's do that. Idiot, you get the giant shower and we'll wait here. Murder Why, you little... No, it, it is a good idea. There's a fountain in the middle of town. If we just connect that to the bathhouse... Nice thinking, thinking, sir. Sir? Wow. Ah, don't jinx me. Uh, anyway, the pipe leading to the fountain should be right over there. Great, let's get to work. Okay, that should do it. All right, open the valve and start pumping. Just reconfigure the public waterworks system. It's just that easy. Is it raining? But it's so warm. I can see everyone. And look, I can move again. It worked. The townspeople are back to normal. We brought the heart back to heart's child. Good job, everyone. I'm in your debt again. Thanks to you, I'm feeling as good as ever. We're happy to see you back on your feet, sir. But now, he must return to the battlefield. Of course, I'm grateful that he's well again. It's just... What a part of me can't help feeling sad as well. I'm sorry, Eleanor. But I promise, I shall return to you unharmed. Oh, my love. Getting awful steamy in here. And I ain't just talking about the hot spring. I've never seen two people who care for each other so deeply. And yet, despite that deep love, their lives force them apart. He must protect the nation, and she must protect their home for when he returns. Their love is suffocated and crushed under the heavy weight of duty. Duty. Such a simple word. Yet it has the power to keep two loving souls apart. Ah, yes, the incinerator. In what does such a marriage mean? What is it all for? Widespread garbage disposal, if ever there was one. Wow. Uh, what's gotten into Magnolia? She seemed really affected by that conversation with the Goodmans. Maybe being married means even more on the moon than it does down here on Luxendark. Still, I know how she feels. What I wouldn't give to experience true love like the Goodman someday. Does this mean you're about to launch into a monologue too? Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Ready to go? Let's do it. To the Temple of Water. Oh, party chat. All right, let's see what this is about. Sap and Piddler. What do they have to say about them? All right, I still love the mech. raises a pretty good point why would a single sergeant and a single private uh, be allowed to pilot a weapon like that uh, I somehow doubt that they're the cream of the crop I highly doubt that Private Piddler is the Empire's ace assassin to operating incognito.
All right. And uh, on that note, I think that is the stopping point for now.